Here are some dream signs indicating poverty, setback, hardship, and stagnation in your life. Anytime you see these dreams, please do everything. Do everything to counsel it because it will surely speak in your life. Do you know why? The spiritual controls the physical. Number one dream that if you see it, do everything to pray against it is this. See yourself, somebody is touching your hair or you see yourself, they are plating hair or somebody is cutting your hair or in a salon, you're barbing your hair. <laughs> Anything that tampers with this, your head is a very bad sign. My dear, walk hard in prayer because your glory is being tampered with. Collect what God has given to you. That thing that is on you, that is making you to shine, the enemy wants to collect it from you. My dear, pray very hard. No matter what it will take you to pray, eh? your glory is your tomorrow. Your glory is what we speak. They will announce you in your generation. And when the enemy tampers with it, your life is a goner. Please, work hard in prayer and restore it back. Number two sign that when you see the signs in your dream, is a message that the enemy is trying to bring you down is this. You see yourself in the village. You see yourself in the old house. You see yourself in the old school. You are no longer in secondary school, but you see yourself going to secondary school. Ah, no now. It's a, you don't need a prophet to tell you that something is wrong somewhere. You are done with university level. You see yourself sitting in university carrying. You are going to lectures. Oh, no. Where you have worked before, you see yourself going back to work in that place again. You're no longer working there. You are done. You see yourself going working there. We're going to work there again. And that place is not even better than to the one you're working now. It's a setback, my dear. It's a demotion. The, the enemy is trying to work on your speed in life. See, if you're not careful, <laughs> they will bring you down to a zero level. The devil is trying to stagnate you that you not go far. Please, you need to pray very hard and do what? And come out from that spiritual prison. Another thought sign that when you see you know, the devil is trying to bring you down is seeing yourself being naked in the dream. If you see yourself that you're naked in the dream, you see that you're wearing clothes, all of a sudden the clothes is no longer there. You're naked. Ah, devil is trying to put you in shame. What is the sign? Shame and disgrace is coming to you. I don't know how it's going to come or when it's going to come, but definitely it will come if you don't avert it, if you don't walk against it, if you don't pray against it, if you don't stop it, it, will, it must come. You have to cancel it immediately. You have to cancel it. The Bible says, whatsoever you allow shall be allowed in heaven and whatsoever you disallow shall be disallowed in heaven. You don't need to allow it to stop it with prayer and cancel it and it will cancel. God works with your mouth. Anything you speak, what God will do for you. If you say, God, I don't want it to, it will not come. You have to pray a fervent prayer with all your heart and you will see God intervening in your life. Another fourth dream that when you see, you know that the enemy is trying to steal from you, is you see yourself that they stole a phone from you. Somebody collected a phone from you and ran away. I do not collect the phone back. Hey, hey. If you are a prayerful person, or maybe you are a Christian, you go to church, you pray a lot, and somebody collected phone from you in the dream, they have collected your prayer network. You have to do everything to restore that phone back, or else you will start seeing yourself, you no longer want to pray again. You start seeing yourself, you will lack prayer. To pray will be a problem. You see that a, a prayer, prayer will begin to be a burden to you. They will ask you to pray, you don't pray. You see that you, you sleep more than you prayed before. The enemy have attacked your prayer life. You need to pray and restore that phone back. Because if you pray, God will answer you. The next one, the fifth one that anytime you see in the dreamland, you know that the devil is trying to, to bring you down. Is You see yourself standing on a mountain. All of a sudden, somebody pushed you down. You started falling from high mountain to into the dish. Hey, 
The enemy is trying to set you back in life. The enemy is trying to bring you down for that grace where you are. Maybe you are doing well as a person. You are working hard and you are successful. Something is going good for you and the enemy is not happy with you. And they want to bring you down. That is how they will start. If you take it as, ah, it's just a dream. I just fall from a mountain. Ah, ah, don't take it anyhow. Pray and say, God, this dream will not come to pass. There's no how I can, how can you, how can you fall from a mountain? Fall from a very high and somebody push you down. You think it's, a, it's just a normal dream? No. You have to pray and work against it or else it might not come now, but a time will come in life because they will program it when it will speak. When your mind is no longer there, when you start making it in life, you will see something just happen. You will see yourself falling down to a zero level. What happened, you don't know. You don't know how it happened. Please be careful of your dreamland. Mind your dream and know when God is speaking to you. There are different kinds of dream. There are dream of too much of eating. There are dream of too much of talk talk and play play. There are dream of uh, maybe malaria dreams. But when you see real dream, you will know that this dream is a message. And you do what? You stop it. Another dream when you see is when you see yourself wearing a black cloth in the dream. You wear a black cloth. Or you see a loved one wearing a black cloth. It's a sign of death. Or you see you see a funeral being taking place. Someone's poster. And you see the name. Maybe it's your name or someone you know name. Don't take it as a joke. Pray against spirit of death. Death is about to take someone. You have to pray against it. You have to pray fervently about it. Pray about, pray against it. And stop the enemy from taking away someone from your family. Another dream that when you see, you know that this dream is very wrong. And it's a very bad one. Is you see yourself barefooted. It's just a barefooted, you're walking up and down, you're just barefooted, you don't even know, you're just walking up and down, barefooted. is a mark of lack of direction. The enemy is trying to put confusion in your life. No direction, no plan, no goal, you don't even know what you're doing again, you're confused. It, the devil is trying to depress you, put your life in a depressed state. The devil is trying to steal away your joy. The devil is trying to put confusion in your life. Please. Pray against it and restore your, your silpas or your shoe back. Let your shoe come back to you. Because you cannot live a directionless life. You have to live a life of direction for it to succeed in this life. Pray against it and cancel it. Don't allow it to come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus. Another dream that you win whenever you see. You know that the devil is trying to steal your joy. Is you see yourself, you see yourself digging a grave digging a grave you just see yourself digging a grave digging a grave for someone digging a grave is a very bad thing it's a sign of death it's a sign of destruction it's a sign of lost you're about to lose something you're about to lost something something's about to leave your life or leave your family please walk against it and pray against it Another sign of dream that anytime you see it, you know that devil is about to steal from you is begging. You see yourself begging. You're begging in the dream. You just see yourself, you're begging somebody something. It's a very bad sign. Devil is trying to bring you down. You bring your life or business down. Devil is trying to put your life in frustration. Devil is trying to frustrate your life. Devil is trying to frustrate your life and make you to become low. Trying to take you in a low class life. Devil is trying to manipulate your life and frustrate you. And don't give devil any loophole. Don't give devil chance to frustrate your life. Anytime you see dreams, it's a message. God is showing you mercy. Trying to expose what the enemy is planning against you. And for you to respond by appreciating God is for you to pray. And if you refuse to pray, God will not do another thing that just allow you. And you might not see it now. One thing about devil is you will not allow you to see it now. It might allow you maybe one year, after one year, after some months, you start seeing the effect. You start dropping. You might, when you see real dream, you will know. When you see real dream, you will know. When you see malaria dream, you will know. When you see dream of maybe you eat a lot or you talk a lot or dance a lot, you will know. Dreams are messages. Please, don't joke with your dream. 
don't joke with your dream. Another one is when you see yourself, I don't know if I've said it, uh, you are already living in your own house. You are a, now a, you are a landlady or you are a landlord or you're living in your own house that your father built, maybe your own personal house where you live. And in the dream, you see yourself living in a rented apartment. Oh, no now. Compound you have left since. You see something going back to that same compound again. You know, the office you have left, and I pray for you. See, in this life, be careful. Don't take life as anything. Be careful and be sensitive with the world you are in. I know that we have a po we need to have a positive mindset towards life, but be careful. Especially when God is talking to you in your dream, be careful and listen and do the needful. And when you do the needful, God will avert it and deliver you. And I pray for you that the evil you don't know will never be for you. God will not allow what you cannot carry to come to you. But I adjure you and I'm, I'm encouraging you, be a prayerful person. Be prayerful and be sensitive so that you can overcome the end when they come. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. That's all I have for you. If you find this video very helpful, please do well to follow us on this channel. Yes, follow us. Share this video. Comment and like. And as you do that, God will keep increasing you and blessing you and taking you to the next level of life. In the name of Jesus, the plan of the enemy over your life will never come to pass. You will surely overcome. You will rule and you will reign. In Jesus' name, God bless you. See you in my next video. I still love you.